Hey, what's up, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. And Paul. We're going to be filming, um, I almost said a deck tech, uh, EDH game for you guys. I'm playing Grand Arbiter. And I'm playing Marin. Cool. Let's go. All right. I'm going to start this out with a fetch. Cool. I'm going to grab the Overgrown Tomb. Um, and then I am going to pass. So 39. Sounds good to me. I'm assuming if the overgrown tomb in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you definitely do. It'd okay. be weird if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Island. Ponder. Pass the turn whenever you are ready. Mm, we'll go. Forest. Cool. And then I will pass. Okay. I'm going to play Weathered Wayfarer. Okay. Pass. I will go Swamp. Tap one. Play soaring. Cool. Sounds good to me. I will tap two. Play Marin. And your soaring. Yeah. <laughs> Marin is not too mana. It, it was an obvious I know, what I, I was doing. I'm, I'm also good. cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate my weathered wayfarer. And I get any land. Yep. Which is really cool. You know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to get the Terramorphic. And then I'm going to crack it. Okay. And then I'm going to get... A Plains. Okay. And, um... That is all set. I believe I have seven lines or seven cards in my hand. Yeah, cool, cool. Okay. Um, I'll drop a swamp. I'm gonna tap three, five for Moldvine Reclamation. Yep. And then I will do three combat. Cool. I will take three. Three commander. Then I will pass the turn. Cool. I am at 37. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. The card's really good. Um, cool. Can I not activate the Weathered Wayfarer? I'm gonna play Reliquary Tower. And then I'm gonna play Solve the Equation. Tutor for an instant or sorcery. Okay. Reveal it and put it into my hand. So many choices. You have a lot of choices. So many things to get. That's a good option. That's a good option. Very likely going to get bribery. Oh, I don't like that option. <laughs> I'm a I'm personally like a huge fan though. Yeah. <sighs> Bribery. Okay. Go ahead. Well that changes what I'm gonna do on my turn. <laughs> um I will play a swamp. I realized that I could have if I kept up the planes I could have tutored for with my other wayfarer. But could have. opportunities were missed. Um, that was a misplay on my part. Good job, Tracy. Well, recognizing this place is important, though. So you know, I'm gonna have to do this I'll because I know what you're gonna get from my graveyard. I can't get something from your graveyard; it's only your library. Uh, my library. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna cord for one and get spore frog. Sure. Uh, um, I played the wrong land for the turn. 
Wow. You and I are both just messing up with lands, apparently. Oops, sorry. Uh, maybe I won't get Spore Frog. So the funny thing is with Spore Frog is under normal circumstances, I would agree that Spore Frog is a really great option, but I, I'm not really doing combat damage in this game, so... Yeah, maybe I'm changing my mind. I mean, Spore Frog is one I can play it. Yeah, like... I but get, I grabbed the wrong land, so I might like, add more to that because I realized... Oh, yeah, George. I think under like normal games where I'm attacking a lot, yeah, Sparfrog is really good because you can basically infinite combo and chain it with Marin, which is well, really the great. Point, yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking though. Is yeah. I do I just want to see if I have a black thing that would be a better option. Yeah, you might have like a Llanowar Elves or an Elvish Mystic or well, something like that. Well, that's not black is the problem. Um, Cutthroat could work. Didn't you cord for one, though? Yeah, I, but my point was I have the mana to pay for it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. okay got it. Do you want to just do it for cord for two? Yeah, I think that's okay. what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a two. cord for we're, two. We're in, we're in casual commander lines. It's okay. Cord for two, I have a floating. That's fine. Um, or you can cord for three. Well, no, because I want to be able to play it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, and then I was dumb and played a swamp instead of a forest. That's okay. So life, life happens. I'm going to get Zillapore cut through. Okay. That's a good option. The point is, if you get Sheldred, then I have a sack outlet that I could keep bringing. Why do I have Sheldred in this deck? Just got bribery. Oh. <laughs> and then you grab my Sheldred. I was like, what is the, how, how do I have Sheldred in there this, in this okay. uh, thing? Yeah. I mean, you... Yeah, you grab my shoulder, you play it with bribery, which would make sense. Attack me. And three. yes. Okay, cool. I'm at 34. Six commander. All right. All set? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I totally misplayed there, but... This, that is quite okay. Well... Bribery. bribery. <laughs> There you go. I know this is very. Uh... Let me guess. Oh, what are you getting? Do you want the shoulder? Well, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Um, that's an option. I'm gonna try and grab the ones that you might grab. Like Rosa gets really cool, but I don't really have a lot of creatures in this deck, so it's you know. This would be funny. Whatever, Darkly Ravager. <laughs> Direfully Ordered is so good. You have a black market in this deck. I'm really jealous. I actually want that card. Beast Whisper is such a cool card. Those are, I think, all those are the ones you would want from this pile. Is those. What a question. What are what are these sleeves? Uh, they feel a little, um... They're they older, little... ultra pros. Got it. They feel but they might a little be... odd. They might be the old KMCs. Got it. Okay, cool. They just feel they're like a little. I don't know. They're kind of like rough on the on the hands. Oh, these is the pile that you got for me. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones I think you're gonna I want. I feel like Sheldred. The problem with Sheldred is that um, I don't really have like creatures again. You know. No, so but it's, it's you force me to sack every turn. Yeah, that's kind of like the bigger thing that I feel like I want to kind of do. So I was really funny. Dire Flea Ravengers were really funny. Oh, yeah. Paul got this recently, that ancient, ancient Brad's right? It was so funny. So our, it was our friend Brad's birthday, and we got him some packs. And then Brad opened this, and then Paul's like, do you need that? Because I want it. <laughs> no. Um, I, I think I'm just going to get the children. Honestly, it's not really about me. It's about you. Yeah, you that's kind of what I thought you were doing. Also, to. I have a 6-6, six, six, and it's got Swamp Walk, which is really funny. So Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, after that, I'm all set. Well, on upkeep, I will sack the Zillapod Cutthroat. Cool, when you've it, got multiple triggers. Yes, That's when it cool. dies, uh, you lose one and I gain one. That's fine. But I'll gain two and I will draw a card. That is true, you will gain two, so you're at 41. Wow, you're so ahead. I don't know if I can keep up with this. Um, do, 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 do. Draw for card and then draw for turn. Cool. I will. Uh, Marin has one counter on Marin her. Does have a counter. Um, I'm gonna play a forest. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Um, play Sir Conrad. Yep. 
Then I'm going to tap two and play Fiend Artisan. Okay. What is um, the power to of Fiend Artisan right now? How many creatures in your group? Uh, it is a 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. cool. But at end step, it'll go back to being a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Uh, hold on, but I'm not at that point. Uh, so whenever another creature dies or is put... Oops, sorry. Um, do, 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 do. I deal one damage. Okay. Oh, it's from the graveyard anywhere other than the battlefield. Oh, or, okay. Um, there's no point in really swinging with Marin. No. So I will go to end step and return Zillaport to my hand. Sounds good. Oh, this is really good. Can I do both of these things? Yes, I can. I'm going to play one of my favorite cards. To Fairy's Ages on site. Um, oh. If you would draw a card, you would draw more than two. two. Yeah, but it's it's not the, the first draw step. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, wow, I'm just really terrible at math, apparently, because I, I can't do this. Um, <laughs> thought I had seven mana. I don't. Um, I am going to pass the turn. Okay. Um, untap, upkeep. I will sack the Fiend Artisan. Okay. Uh, creature died. Um, you'll take one damage. I will. I am at 30. Oh, I missed that two. trigger on my end step, too, because it's or leaves the mm -hmm. graveyard. Uh, but yes, then I will mm -hmm. um, gain life and draw cards. We'll draw two. Cool. I'll start at 42. Sounds good. And Marin gets a counter. Marin gets bigger. Mm hmm. Cool. I'm going to play the Undergrowth Stadium. I do not have two or more opponents, so <laughs> I just tapped. It's like really funny in a 1v1. It doesn't work. Um, we're going to tap two. To replay Zulaport Cutthroat. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go two, three, four, five, and play Black Market. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go to end step and return Fiend Arzen, so you will take a damage because the creature left my graveyard. Cool. I am at 31. Okay. At the end of your turn, I'm going to um, Weathered Wayfair to get a land. Any land I would like. To my hand. Probably be a... Oh yeah. Gonna be a Mystic Sanctuary. Card is so good. And I'm gonna do something pretty silly on my turn. Are you gonna get rid of your own shelter? <laughs> no. I I think you I think you led me astray when you told me to get the sheltered. I'm just saying. I mean, it's pro I mean, I gave you multiple options there. I said children was a good one, which you did. So, I just, um, but I, I just, may have. You I just know. think. I just think you deceived me a little bit in that. Uh, in that instance. Okay, so um, are you ready to see the shenanigans? Sure. Hmm. Oh, I have a reliquary tower. <laughs> Cool. I'm also yeah. surprised you're not swinging with your shoulder. We're gonna. Uh, I do have swamp block, but I, I'm really using it as a blocker. Okay, I'm gonna delve four. Okay. Five, six, treasure seven, cruise? eight. Dick. Yeah, but the really funny thing about mm. treasure cruise is you draw. That I draw six. Yes. And I've got a really good turn. One, <laughs> two, and three. I'm saying this is so silly, guys. Oh my god, this is so funny. Okay, so... One, two, and then if I play land, I'm going to have three mana. Which I, I can't really do a whole lot with, but I can do this with. So we're going to do this. So Mystic Sanctuary, it is going enter, to enter the field untapped because I have one, two, three. Three or more other islands. Um, and then I'm going to return this back on top. Okay. This is getting really, 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 really silly. Okay. Um, pass. Sheldred. Sack the Fiend Artisan. Uh, creature dies, you lose one, I gain one. Uh, actually, I'll gain two. You gain, you gain so many things. Okay, so you're going to gain two, so you're at 44. I'm going to take one. I'm at 30. Uh, this gains a counter. And does it also does it also trigger? No, uh, um, yep. So you will actually lose take two. Okay, that's and I will end. gain two. And cool. I will draw two cards. Sounds good.
Um, we'll pay two to play Cedar Wayfinder. Sounds good to me. One, two, three, four. So I may reveal a land card and put it mm -hmm. into my hand. Well, I'll take a forest in my hand. Cool. And the rest go to my graveyard. So Sounds that is the city line and a thousand eyes. Okay. Um, I already I have not played my land for turn, so we'll go play that land I just caught. Um, we'll go two, four, and play. Um, it's permanent. You know what I realized? I actually have a commander that I could have been playing all this time. Yes, uh, play Golgari, um, and play is get back a Zoni. No, I really don't care. Um, then I'll tap one for Spore Frog. Okay. I do have an extra black in my pool. I will use it and that to play Greed. I feel like I just messed up. I should have done this before. But whatever. Because um, I had enough to do that, but it is what it is. I will then go to end step and get Acidic Slime to my hand. So it leaves the graveyard, so you'll take one. Okay. I am at 28. Okay. You'll I'm set. all set. Okay. So I'm going to play Thirst for Knowledge, draw three cards, then discard two on the city discard and artifacts. Um, but with this, I'm actually going to draw six. Yup. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I have to discard two because I'm not going to discard an artifact. Okay. Um, You're not going to discard a thought vessel? I've got Relic Root Tower. I'm, I'm That's my, my point. Here. Like, do you not have a Thought Vessel in your hand that you can discard so you can keep five cards? Although you do know I have an Acidic Slime in my hand, so maybe that isn't the best card to um, discard. So the reality is, is, is it it's game not going to matter. Is it game over already? Um, well, what's the highest CMC among things you have? Five. Five? I have multiple at five. <laughs> this is funny. Six. Swamp walk. Yeah, I'll take five. Oh, six. Six. So you're at 38. Okay. Getting in there, guys. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, wait. I can just sacrifice my spore frog in response and not take any damage. Okay. You're at 44. Ugin. Uh huh. And then it's not exiled. <laughs> There you go. Oh, uh, well, you could you could have done that. Uh, you'll also okay. take one and I gain two. You gain two? Yeah. Okay. Don't you draw cards too? Yep. I do draw a card. Okay. Um, Ugin. Yep. Okay. I am going to... I think you said the highest CMC is five? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to minus five Ugin. Okay. So he's at two. So that exiles... Sure does. Exile, exile. Guess what states? Sheltered. This is, this goes back to command zone. And these are now all exiled. Ah, your soul ring survives. Okay. Um, all set. Pass. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna want to replay Marin. So that's two, four, six. Marin is. Back. Marin is in fact back. Um, I have one, two, three, four. I guess what I'm going to do is then do solemn. Yep. I'll use to get a swamp, I guess. Sad robot is there. And then I will end step return sport frog. You know what I realized? What? Have we been missing my shelter triggers about sacrificing? No. Really? Have you been sacrificing? I've been okay. sacrificing every single turn. That's why you've been oh. taking so much damage, oh, okay. and I've been drawing cards on my upkeep every like, turn. I was like, did I just, did, did I just like miss something here? Like, okay. <laughs> it's just I've been getting more value yeah, from yeah, it yeah, than yeah, yeah. losing. That's fair. It's like, One, oh, two. I'll sack a little thing. 
Um, uptick Ugin, you take three. Uh, I'll sack the spore frog. It won't take three. Is it combat oh, damage? Oh, that is combat Dude, damage. it's combat damage. damage. Never mind, never mind, yeah, never you're a 43 mate. I'll take, I'll take three. <laughs> don't, don't give me that. Don't give me that. If, if you want, when I when I attack you with Sheldon, you can do that. Six, then I'll have three, which means I'll have enough for this. Can I do anything else? But I could also do that. Um, okay, well, the first thing we're definitely going to do is play Consecrated Sphinx. Yep. That's a card. Yeah. I have to do that because I have to draw cards. Um, do I want to do that? I don't really think you're going to attack this turn. If I shieldred, you're just going to do your spore, spore frog. frog. Um, which is fine. Um, I'll just... Pass. I've had like no mad acceleration this game, so I've been just like. Uh, I'll sack the solemn and draw a card. Okay, I and will then draw, I'll draw two cards. Return, so you draw four draw cards. Two, another two cards. Oh, that's funny. Ah, speaking of little mad acceleration. That's cute. Okay, those are gonna go here. You know what's funny is we haven't really been not drawing gas, which is really nice. So. And for turn. Two, four, five, Sanguine Bond. Um, Disdainful Stroke. Okay. Now you're allowed to have that. Um, two, four, five, Acidic Slam blow up your um, Reliquary Tower Land. Oh, shoot. That's actually really bad. I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, well, I can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, Reliquary Tower, rest in peace. Um, then I'm going to tap two and suspend a Profane Tutor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on, I have eight mana? Oh, right, because you just built the Reliquary Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, suspend a Profane Tutor. Okay, that's terrifying. Got it. Um, wow, that really messes up my plans in so many um, ways. I'll go to end step and return solemn. Okay. Because, oh, he got the counter when solemn died at the beginning of the turn, so mm -hmm. we'll be at four. Um, so I will get a land. Okay. I will get a swamp. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. Well, that was really, really irritating. And I understand why you did that. But it's still very, very irritating because it sets me back on on mana. Um, well. Oh, man, Paul. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I can just now sack the acidic slime every turn and blow up a land every turn. Let me see if I can do something about that. <laughs> You have to exile it, is the problem. I can do that. You're going to reality shift it? Something similar to that. Path it. Mm. Curse this one. Okay, for how much? Um, I'm thinking, because the, the deal, here's the real deal, is don't care about this. You're going to sack this in response. You have so much mana, you could just recast Marin, so... I guess... Curse the Slime for one? Targeting the Acidic Targeting Slime? Targeting the Acidic Slime. Okay. I've had better I've had better Curse of the Slimes, but you know... That is Exiled, and I have a 3-3, three, three, correct? Yeah, you got a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Um... I have okay. a boar. I do. Here's my okay. boar. Okay, well, here's the reality, is this needs to go... That this I'm working on my discard. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could probably do something. I'm just gonna get anything back. So that card doesn't matter. Oh, that's good. I need I need to keep this. Wait, can I do both of those things? I can. 
Archeomancer to get back my Disdainful Stroke. Okay. That's counter non-creature only? No, it's a CMC 4. CMC 4, four. okay. Or more. Sorry, sorry. Not four just 4. Okay. Yeah. Um, move to discard. Discard Pongnify, Expedition Map, Jesus Sanctum, and Venser, and I have to discard something else. Okay. I need these. I need that card. You need your need dis this card. For stroke. I don't need Propaganda. One, two, three, four. I can pick three. These are so good. All of these draw me cards. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna discard Sphinx's Rev because of based on what I have in my hand. And then one of these needs to go. Oh, pains me. Pains me. Goodbye, Factor Fiction. <laughs> I'm in physical pain right now. Um, did I did I Ugin actually? You did not Ugin. Okay. I'll take three. I'll take three. You're at forty. Go. I, I, this is not how I'm killing you. I'm gonna you, sack so. the solemn. That's fine. Counter. When you draw a card, I'll draw two. And then we draw for turn. One, two, three, four. Uh, wow. Profane loses a counter so, from suspend. That's quite, quite, quite cards. So quite a lot of cards. Two, um, quite a lot of lands. Two. Um, how much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. 13. That is so much better. I don't think I can do both of these. I'm gonna play this. So two, four, six, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's super annoying that I'm literally one mana short on that. <laughs> Um, I will play Thousand Eye. I have two creatures in my graveyard, I so I'll get know. two one ones. I don't know what this does. Uh, oh, assuming it resolves. So creature, you can, yeah, that's fine. Well, I need to draw more cards. Um, no, I am the only one. I can play that. And. I will move to end step, replay Solemn, and okay. um, get yeah, another swamp. Okay. You know what's really funny? What? Is I can get back Venser on my, for my children. <laughs> I'm all set. You know what's really funny about this? So get back Venser um, for my children. And what's really funny is I can bounce my Archeomancer. Yeah. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Draw a card. Okay. You ready for the fun? Sure. This is going to be a little ridiculous. I'm excited. I hope you're ready. Omniscience. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do ten. you win this turn? Um, see, that's the funny thing is I have no idea. Because I get a tutor next turn. Recognizable. So um, I could grab, you know, Rex Age or something along very those true. lines. This is very true. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... And Sphinx's Drive is bad right now because you can't... That's why I hex. discarded it. That's why I discarded it. Um. Okay. For free, 99. We're going to play Treasure Cruise. Okay. And we're going to draw three cards. One... Two, three. Okay, that was not really great. Sad robot. Hey! Sad robot gang is here. Whose robot is sadder? Um, I feel like the art on that one is sadder. The That's one fair. on yours, yeah. It's my whole thought process. Okay. Um, okay. I need to draw more cards. No, you can't just tutor for your Enter the Infinite and win. I, I cannot tutor for Enter the Infinite currently. <laughs> okay. I need a board. Now right? we're going to play Dig Through Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I get two of these. 
I already have infinite mana, so the Paragon Drake doesn't do anything here. It does not. But you know, it does do something here. I mean, you can just play it and you can this use card. it to swing things at me. It seems pretty bad. Um, do we need this card right now? No. I don't want to that. Okay. Okay. Um. Hold up. These are those are those are lands. I already played mana for turn. Okay. So if I I can replay, I can Archeomancer. Archeomancer to dig through time again. I think that's the play. Archeomancer, get back, dig through time. Recast, dig through time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good lord. Has she won yet? How many cards have I seen? At least 14. I know. Plus the treasure crew, so that's... 10, uh, 17. You've looked through a third of your deck this turn. I know. This is funny to have these next to each other. I have Smothering Tithe and Monologue Tax and the same thing. Well, play them. I'm going to get both of these, though. I still need to pay for the commander, my commander tax. I guess I'll need to pay yes. for my commander. Okay. Um... Wait, your commander hasn't been on the field though. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying is I have to can I can I cast it? You know what I'm saying? No, no, you don't have to pay the commander cost. You only have to if you have the tax. Oh, so I can cast my commander for free? Yes. You may no, you may cast spells from your hand with the Oh, then I guess not. Never mind. No. Um, can't do that. That'd be cool though. Um, okay, opt. Scry one. Bottom. Draw a card. Oh, that's actually really helpful right now. I'm not saying that sarcastically, that sounded sarcastic, I promise. It, it did wasn't. not. Cool. Okay, those are all lands. Um, I don't I... think you moving yet this turn either. Unfortunately, I cannot win. I also need to Ugin, and then I can also board wipe creatures. Do you want to? I know, see that's kind of my thought process. Do I want to? Why would I not want to? I mean, I would just sack all of mine to draw cards if you board wipe. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you could just do that anyway, to be fair. You know what's really funny? I think I get more value out of a board wipe than you do. I agree. You know what's funny? Okay, Sapphire Medallion. So my blue spells cost one less. So this taps for a mana and this taps actually for a black. So then I can do no. You still need white have, and blue. I do need white and blue. Okay, well, life is a little sad, but okay. I think I just pass and I've got a lot of protection in my hand. Okay. So um, I'm very uh, scared of what you're gonna do. Shoulder trigger. This is very true. I'm gonna um, sacrifice Solemn. Okay. So you're going to draw a card. Yes. That means I'm going to draw two cards. You're going to just draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Oops. That's cool. I only drew two cards. Um, land for one. <sighs> What's your life total? <laughs> 27. Um, that was a terrifying question. Oh, I have my Profane Tutor that resolves. That's true. Unless so, you want to counter So I have that. a question. Do I counter the Profane Tutor or do I counter what you get from the Profane Tutor? Or can I You can counter the Profane Tutor. It CMC is zero, though. That's fine. You can you can have it. And then I can I can decide based on what you get. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's the way that I'm going to look at it. <laughs> this is such an intense game. I love it. This is also really funny, too, because I just, like, don't have creatures in this deck, so the fact that I have, like, every single creature out on the board right now that I actually own in this deck is really funny. I really don't have a lot of creatures. I think I have maybe, like, definitely less than ten. The majority is instant sorceries, you know? Okay. The goal is to stop Paul this turn, and then the goal is to attempt to win. 
Isn't that always the goal? Yeah, it's true. These these are gonna these okay. are gonna these are gonna help though. I don't I have to these. show you what I get. No, you don't have to show me. That's fine. I don't need that. I know you have that counterspell in your hand. This is very true. Would you do it? You definitely would do it. You know me so well. Oh my gosh. You can always bait the counter spell. Or That's you can what I'm... try. That's always the thing is you can try. Okay. I am going to get this card. Watch Paul gets like a demonic tutor with his profane tutor. That would be so bad. That would be so bad. Um, so we never decided this, but um, we opened up a, another Commander Legends box, and we opened up a... We did a draft with our friends that was a ghost draft, and we would have a Vampiric Tutor, but we haven't decided about who gets it yet. I feel like Paul should get it, and he should put it in two, that deck. Maybe I put it in Tassiger. Three, four, five, six, seven, Ugin. eight. Ugin. No. Oh. Rosicath. <laughs> in what world do you think I could let you have that? Just aim full stroke. Play something else. See what uh, you got. Two, four, six. Bane in progress. Rewind. <laughs> That's back to my hand? No, I untap four lands. Oh, okay. Cool. Come on. Fine. Did you tutor for the Bane or did you tutor for the Razakath? Yeah, you'll never know. Oh, fine. After the game, you have to tell me. Fine. fine. Um, I'll go to end step and return Bane of Progress from my graveyard to the battlefield. Can I Can I deal with that? Um, It's not cast. <laughs> this matters. Hold on. He goes straight to the battlefield. Right. So, hold on. Can I pause, rewind, 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 rewind. Go go back to before your end step. Okay, before my end step. Okay, I'm going to rapid hybridization your Marin. Okay. You get a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Have you been paying mana for all of those? For what? I have omniscience. Why do you have so many tap lands? I untapped these from from the rewind. Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, that'll be my uh, turn. Okay. Um. Well. Do you win now? I, d I have no idea. To be honest, I think if you actually did do that, that would actually probably be fine. Oh, this is. Oh, this. You're is saying Bane funny. would have been fine. Um. No, sorry. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Okay, here's what we need to do. First off, let's play a land. I don't think it really matters, but you know what? We're going to play a land anyway, because we can. Okay. That was my out. I'm going to play... <laughs> I'm going to play Flood of, Re of Recollection, Return Target Instant or Sorcery from your Graver to your hand, then exile it. So I'm going to exile this. So do I just get, like, Sphinx's Rev and then draw... However many cards you can. However many cards I can, because I can... You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter. I think I just get the Sphinx's Rev. It also and pay all your mana. Too. Pay all my mana, you know, and go from there. I think that... I feel like that's just what we have to do, right, guys? Okay. Because it costs me one less, and then I get a black from this, so... And you use your thought vessel to okay. pay one. And then, so hold up. So let's see. So this is for the actual cost uh -huh. of the... For the... Of the yep. Sphinx's Rev. And then we've got... One, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cost me one less, so eleven. So you'll draw eleven and gain eleven? Seems good to me. Yeah, okay. Um, I gain eleven <coughs> life. Wow, I am at, let's see, thirty-eight. Uh, I don't know why I was trying to double it back. I'm going to draw eleven cards. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, it's all over. Okay. And the infinite. Yep, you got it. Cool. Oh my god, that was so stressful! 
So I had the meddling mage in my yeah. hand, so I was gonna meddling mage, probably the the bane actually. I don't know what I would have done. So yeah, the, the well that wouldn't cast from my graveyard. Meddling mage just says you can't play the card. It says name an online card. It can't be played. It's not played. It's not played. It just goes what? from graveyard to battlefield. That's wild. Wait, so what was the card that you got from got earlier? Um, I got. Um, was it the Bane or was it the Razakath? It was probably the Bane. It was the Bane. Yeah. 